In this video we're going to talk about the difference between absolute and relative measure. So first the definitions. An absolute measure is a count or the actual number of items. Relative measure takes into account the number of successes relative to the number of attempts. It is a quotient that compares two similar quantities. Often it's the part and the total that are being compared. The part is divided by the total. So Relative measure is either a fraction or a decimal or a percent. An absolute measure is a dollar amount or the number of items that someone has, um, something like that. And also in this box we have the definition for a ratio, which we'll talk about in another video. And this is the term that's used to describe the relative measure quotient. So the um, two things that you're comparing when you do that division, that quotient is the ratio. And a ratio can be expressed in several forms. It can be expressed in words or a verbal form, fractions, decimals, or as a percent. So we're going to skip the first couple of problems here and move on to problem four. And we just want to identify whether um, each of these is an absolute measure and if, or if it's a relative measure and then explain why. So part A, I got seven answers wrong. And so this is an absolute measure because it's stating how many we had wrong. And so um, this is absolute. And it's because it's a count of the number wrong. Part B, I guessed on four answers. Again, this is a plain old number, and so that would be an absolute measure. Oops. And so it's the, count, the, the number that you guessed on. Okay, and then part C, two-thirds of the class failed. So this is taking into account the part that failed out of the total. And so this is a ratio, the fraction two-thirds. And because of that, it's a relative measure. I saved $10. This one then would be absolute. It's the number of dollars you saved. And the next one here, I saved 40%. So this is, um, you can rewrite 40% actually as a decimal or a fraction, and so this is a relative measure. And you could just say that that's because it's a percent. Four out of five students work to help pay tuition. So it's saying how many out of the total. And so this is relative. So that's the same as four fifths. Johnny's batting average in 2005, his final year with the Red Sox, was 0 .316. And this is a decimal, and so that means it's relative. So you're not counting how many. You're um, stating it as a decimal. Barry Bonds hit 73 home runs, a new major league record in 2001. So this is counting how many home runs, and so that's an absolute measure. The next example, in 2007, the U.S. Census Bureau estimated that 45,504,000 members of the U.S. population were Hispanic. And so this is just giving us a count, and so that is an absolute measure. In 
In 2007, the U.S. Census Bureau indicated that 15.1% of the nation's population was Hispanic. This is a relative measure. And you know that because it's a percent. So what mathematical notation or verbal phrases in problem four indicated relative measure? So a decimal, a fraction, seeing the percent symbol or the word percent, all of those indicate that you're talking about a relative measure. And so um, we're going to stop here, and we're going to pick up with ratios in the next video. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.